Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm reviewing the new Earplanes EP squared filtered earplugs to see if they really do prevent ear pain when flying. Coming up. As long as humans have been able to fly, we have experienced ear pain upon taking off and landing due to extreme changes in air pressure, and ever since that time, we've been looking for ways to get rid of this ear pain. The human ear is comprised of three main sections. The outer ear, which includes the ear canal and the eardrum, the middle ear, which includes the ossicles, eustachian tube, and middle ear air cavity, and the inner ear, which includes the cochlea. When flying, the air pressure in the cabin of the plane changes rapidly, and the air inside of your middle ear cavity doesn't change until air has a chance to enter or exit through the eustachian tube. This difference in air pressure between the outer ear and the middle ear can put a lot of strain on the eardrum, which can cause an immense amount of pain if you're unable to regulate this pressure quickly enough. This is what makes products like the Earplane so interesting, because if they are effective at reducing ear pain by slowing down this pressure change, they could be the difference maker that you need to reduce the amount of pain that you have when flying. But before I get into my review of the new Earplanes, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a broader audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss when I'm in newly released videos and I release multiple new videos every single week. With that out of the way, I really appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and take a look and see what these earplanes are all about. Earplanes have been around for a while, but they just updated the earplanes to the EP squared version for adults as well as the EP squared version for children. And I will link these down in the description below if you want to check them out for yourself. Of course, for my testing, I use the adult version and this is essentially what they look like. You can see they are blue, but inside of the handle there, you can see there's a little white filter and that is supposed to slow down the pressure change while you're wearing them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this one in my ear. Sometimes it helps to pull your ear back. You really want to make sure you get it in there well so it creates a good seal. And then basically that's what it looks like when you're wearing it. So they are pretty big when it comes to an earplug, but it reminds me of a simple earplug that you would use if you want to go shooting at the range. I do find them to be very comfortable. I can wear them for several hours without having any comfort issues. And they are relatively inexpensive at only $7 for a pair. They do have an added bonus of having a noise reduction rating of 20, so if you want to reduce the noise inside of the cabin, you can wear these to do that as well. But perhaps the coolest thing about the Earplanes earplugs is that they actually have a smartphone app that will tell you when to put them in your ears and when it's safe to take them out of your ears because it will actually use your phone's internal pressure gauge to determine if you're having rapid pressure changes. Not only did I find this app incredibly helpful by receiving notifications, on when to insert and remove the earplanes earplugs, but I also found it incredibly fascinating to see how quickly the cabin air pressure and elevation was changing during takeoff and landing. I recently had a chance to test out these earplanes on a vacation that I took overseas where I had seven flights in a span of eight days. Right before takeoff, the app tells you to press the start button and insert your earplanes earplugs. Once you reach cruising altitude, the app will tell you that it is safe to remove Remove the earplugs from your ears and then once again once you start to descend to go into land the app will give you another notification telling you to put back in the earplugs. So how well did these things actually work? Well from what I could tell they didn't really do that much. Typically when you are taking off in an airplane and you are ascending the air pressure inside of your middle ear can escape through your eustachian tube much easier so I didn't really find these to be very helpful when taking off. Now, when you descend in an airplane, that is when people usually have issues because you're getting a lot of outside air pressure bearing down on you, and it's a lot more difficult to get air through your eustachian tube into your middle ear space. Now, in order for me to test these out over the course of my seven different flights, I kept one ear plug in one ear, and I kept the other ear open, and I tried not to regulate my own pressure by yawning, swallowing, or performing the Valsalva maneuver. On one of my flights from Phoenix to Dallas, I was having some allergy issues 
issues, which was preventing me from regulating my middle ear pressure as well. And I did get some ear pain over the course of this flight. But from what I could tell, the earplanes did absolutely nothing for me. I had the same amount of ear pain in the ear that I wore the earplanes in compared to the amount of pain that I had in the ear that I did not wear them in. On every other flight where I did not have any allergy issues, I still couldn't tell any difference in how the pressure was changing between both of my ears. I was actually concerned that I did not insert them into my ear canals properly, which is a little bit of a shocker, I know, because I'm an audiologist and I deal with ears all the time, but I pushed them in a little bit further and that still had no effect. Honestly, I'm not even really sure that the theory of slowing down the rate of pressure change inside of the ear canal would have any impact on ear pain. In fact, the best that I could even find were just some user reviews on Amazon, and even then, you're not sure if they actually got benefit from the earplanes or they just didn't have ear pain on their particular flights. Since it wasn't working for me anyway, I went ahead and removed this filter that is inside of the earplanes earplug, and what it turned out to be was just like a little piece of plastic. I don't really even know how this qualifies as a filter. And to be quite honest, having the filter in and having the filter out feels absolutely no different. Now trust me, I really wanted these to work because I wanted to be able to sell these things like hotcakes through an Amazon affiliate link, but I cannot in good conscience actually recommend them. In my opinion, if you are looking for a significantly better and more effective way of reducing ear pain when flying, you should check out my video where I'm talking about the Eustachy and my video where I'm talking about the ear popper. Both of them are significantly better when it comes to popping your ears when flying to get rid of ear pain. If you wanna check these videos out, I will have them linked in the description. So whenever that next time is that you fly, just know that there are ways that you can reduce your ear pain. I just do not believe that the earplanes are one of them. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.